Perfect. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Sneaker Addiction, back at it again with a new YouTube video. Finally, I am back. I know it's been a minute since I've recorded a video. Been busy with life, doing things, trying to get shit done in the real world. Haven't had a chance to make a video, but it's finally time for me to get back in front of the camera and post up some new content for you guys. Uh, so this is going to be a pickup video. Everything I've picked up over the last few months, ranging from shoes to clothing and everything in between. So uh, firstly, let's get into the shoes. Um, this is going to be the first pickup in the list of shoes that I've uh, recently picked up. This is something that was pretty hyped when it came out, so let's get into it. We got the Yeezy 950 boots right here. These are the chocolate 950 boots from Adidas and Kanye West. Um, as you can see, it's like an all brown shoe, different shades of brown. That's why they call it chocolate is because of the brown shades on the shoe. Uh, you have like a duck boot on the, I, I wouldn't call it a toe box, but like the toe cap right here. It's like a duck boot and you have this really chunky brown sole, which it's gonna match that duck boot aesthetic of this shoe. Really nice for winter, but I'm even trying to rock these into the spring and probably not in summer just because it's a little hot to wear some heavy boots like this in the summer, but this has definitely been a staple of winter for me. Um, on the upper here, you have some brown suede going around the eyelets for the laces. And then that brown tag right there on the tongue. That'll focus, it says Yeezy. And then going to the back of the shoe, you have this mesh. It's like, a, or I guess a ballistic nylon is what this is gonna be. And then right there you have the pull tab with the red stitching going down the center. Very easy, very, uh, very chunky, very high. And I will show you guys what these look on feet in just a minute. All right, next in my list of shoe pickups is gonna be the Common Projects Chelsea boot in this dark gray suede. These were a uh, fall winter release from Common Projects. As you can see, it's got that suede going all the way along the upper of the shoe. And then into the back here, you have that elastic, which is gonna help you get into the shoe since there are no laces or a tongue or anything like that. Down below the elastic, you have the Common Projects stamp there with the sizing and the model number, uh, color code and all that. On the back of the shoe, have like an ivory pull tab here, which are gonna help you get into the shoe when you're putting them on and taking them off. And then on the bottom, we have that black sole. Wears really well, very comfortable shoe, even for it being like a, a Chelsea boot, very minimal, but it still feels pretty good on your foot. This has been a staple for me throughout the winter and I plan on wearing these all year long. All right, next on my list of shoe pickups, this was a custom done by yours truly on a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost. I followed along uh, T. Blake's uh, tutorial on how to remove the caging on the Ultra Boost and I came up with these guys right here. This is an all white Ultra Boost with the caging stripes removed. And then I actually added the Adidas, uh, well like they're like a, basically a Yeezy rope lace I added on these to set them off a little bit further. Got rid of the original laces, put on that rope lace as you can see, this is what you're left with. Very comfortable as you would expect from a boost shoe. And really, really hard to keep clean, believe it or not. Uh, but I'm gonna be wearing these all spring and summer long when we have the drier days here in, uh, in Portland. So definitely gonna be wearing these a lot. All right, that about does it for the shoe portion of this video. Now we're gonna move to the clothing. I did pick up some flannels this season as well. Uh, this is the first one here, it's from Franken Oak. And this is gonna be a primarily black flannel with like a white and red pattern on this one. Uh, for me, it's really hard to find patterns that I dig on flannels. This is one of the best ones that I've seen in a while though, so this is gonna be heavy in my rotation this year. Uh, the second flannel I purchased is a Pendleton Woolen Mills flannel, which is local here to Oregon. I uh, love the, the pattern on this one as well. It's like kind of a burnt orange with like a gray and a white. This is another one of those flannels that once you find a good pattern, you know your money. Um, but yeah, this is really high quality. It's going to be completely wool. There you see the little 
Pendleton tag on the back shoulder. So that about wraps it up for my clothing pickups uh, this spring. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please stay tuned, I'm gonna have some more videos coming soon, hopefully. I'm gonna try and get in the swing of making videos more frequently. The thing is with making clothing videos and shoe videos is you have to actually pick stuff up in order to do videos on it, which I've been kind of slacking on these past few months. So uh, we'll be trying to make more videos here pretty soon. I'm thinking about branching out and doing some other videos that aren't necessarily related to clothing and shoes. If that's something you guys would be interested in, please leave it in the comments and let me know. Otherwise, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. It's at Eddie Anthony. Thank you guys for watching. This is Sneaker Addiction signing out.